It is safe to say that most of the time when you imagine Palpatine, you don't see him as a crippled old man. From the time we see him as he becomes Chancellor, he is an older gentleman walking up and about. And even when he becomes Emperor, he is still able to fight and keep up with Yoda in a high-speed duel that he ultimately comes out victorious. By the time we see him in Return of the Jedi, he is now an old man and interestingly using a cane in order to walk. Now the question is, at what time did Palpatine start using this cane between the last time we see him when he informs Vader of Padme's death and the first time we see him with a cane as he comes aboard the second Death Star. And it wouldn't hurt to know the origins of this cane as well, used by Palpatine during his elderly years. Well, Palpatine's cane was a Sith artifact in the form of a glossy black cane. It started being used by the Emperor at the time of the Galactic Civil War, but first I want to tackle the origins of this cane. Now at some point, the cane was stolen by a scientist who worked out of an industrial wasteland planet in the Outer Rim territories. The scientist realized that the Mandalorian clan named Cusp's clan, who was under the leadership of the Mandalorian Ung Cusp, was after him. He then offered Jang and Dorge, who were enemies of the clan as well, to give them armor with incorporating advanced weaponry and reflex systems in return for their protection. Shortly after, a Mandalorian strike team broke into the scientist's building and attacked Jang and Dorge in search for the scientist. They both fought back the attackers until one of them threw a thermal detonator. By this point, Jang was fatally wounded and Dorge was knocked unconscious. While at that moment the Mandalorians did recover the cane, before they could even leave, Dorge awoke and was furious when he saw his friend Jang unconscious and about to die. He proceeded to defeat all the Mandalorian attackers in a state of rage and in the end the scientist took back the cane and advised Dorge to get rid of all the other Mandalorians in revenge as he promised Dorge that he would revive Jang. Now before I go any further it is worth to point out that there is no clear connection as to how the cane came to be in the Emperor's possession after the scientist escapes with it. But the cane definitely resurfaces months before the Battle of Yavin and it ends up falling into the hands of Emperor Palpatine. What you might be wondering is why did Palpatine need to use a cane and was his body so broken down at this point that he needed assistance just so he could walk? The answer is quite simply no. He did not need it at all. In fact, as always in a clear sinister Palpatine fashion, he actually used the cane in order to appear weak in front of his enemies just so they could let their guard down and not feel threatened. The last time we see this cane is when Palpatine appeared on the second Death Star some days before the Battle of Endor. Now this is not confirmed by any means but one could speculate that since the Emperor brought the cane with him to the second Death Star and probably last used it to enter the throne room, it is safe to assume that the cane was blown up and destroyed altogether with the second Death Star. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.